Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our guests, our esteemed speakers, and of course, our honoree and members of the media. My name is Bruce Garfield, and I'm the executive director of the Columbus Music Commission. We're really honored to be here to co-produce this event with our friends at the City Council. For those of you who may not know who we are and what we do, we are a nonprofit organization and we operate under three pillars, education, opportunity, and economic and workforce development. And I'm pleased to inform you that under our pillar of education, we just completed our second annual Gift of Music Student Instrument Drive, and we are donating four, 747 instruments to our public schools, and they'll soon be in the hands of our public school city students. We also have a program called Music Business Mondays, and these are educational forums that will continue through the end of this year and throughout next year. We bring major music and entertainment executives to Columbus, and they've addressed so far in the two years we've been running this, thousands of members of our local music community, students, and just about anybody who aspires to have a career in music, be it as a performer or an aspirational young executive. We also have programs which will be in effect next year, which will be craft workshops that will address contract law, financial and fiscal responsibility, promotion and marketing, and through the generous outreach of our local recording studios, there will be a series of internships available to our young people next year as well. Under our banner of opportunity, we're dedicated to helping our local musicians earn more money and have greater opportunity to perform. We work with local venues, promoters, festival operators, our sporting events, our restaurant association, our hotel association, and that comes under our music, Columbus Music Everywhere initiative. And I guess last but not least is our commitment to economic and workforce development. For we believe that Columbus should be and could be a nationally recognized music city known for its quality of music, its innovation, and for a well-groomed and growing music economy. Because if Austin, Texas can make $500 million a year, we know we can do that in Columbus as well. And music history is an interesting subject to study. And there's one common thread that runs through this, which is every great master and artist has been inspired by somebody that came before them. And today's honoree is no exception, for he has inspired generations of musicians. And with no further ado, I want to introduce our next speaker, my friend, the co-founder of the Columbus Music Commission, and in his spare time, the CEO of Donato's Pizza, Tom Krause. Where are you, Tom? <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Let's hear for Bruce Garfield. Thank you, Bruce. I feel like we should do less talking and more rocking, but I, I don't know. Maybe that'll happen here in a bit. Uh, listen, I've known Willie Phoenix for many, many years. Not close, but I would say the, the one thing that I know that we share is the love for Columbus and the love for music. And I remember in my 20s, going up and down this street at Bernie's Bagels, which I believe was right here. Am I right? Uh, the Agora, which is now the Newport, Ruby Tuesdays, all these places. And the first time I heard Willie Phoenix play, something happened to me. I mean, it, it was like it kind of reached in, grabbed my heart, and pulled it out, put it back in. And I thought, wow, this is, this is worldwide talent right here in Columbus, Ohio. And from there, you know, it was other musicians at the time, Dave Workman, John Schwab back here in McGuffey Lane, uh, Hank Easton, Ronald Cole and the Trillionaires, all these really amazing artists back in the day that inspired so many people, like Bruce said. Uh, but that's really what the Music Commission is all about, is to try to help musicians elevate their craft, uh, allow them to uh, be full-time artists, and uh, benefit from that long term. 
So I just want to say congratulations to Willie. I think we should all give it up for Mr. Phoenix. And I know I, I want to thank Mike Brown. I want to thank Colin Gow, Lee, uh, Bruce, Randy, uh, President Harden for making this happen because this is a, an example of how many people Willie touched and, and how much love he has and it comes right back to him. Uh, and I know, Lee, you don't like surprises, but I decided since you could name the street, look at her eyes. Since you named the street, renamed a street, and you just rename a street, I think we should rename Willie Phoenix. We should rename him Willie Columbus, is what I think. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so thanks again. And uh, next, I want to bring up uh, really the reason the Music Commission is in, in place helping musicians is the support and direction and leadership of President Shannon Harden. Thank you very much, Shannon Harden. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I uh, am excited to be here. I never uh, thought that I would get to hang out with so many cool rock and rollers. Uh, it makes me feel pretty cool today. Um, so uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, to Tom, to Bruce, uh, to to uh, the Music Commission, what you guys are doing in Columbus, raising the visibility of our great musicians, putting us on the map uh, for the talent that we have in our in our community, and it's not just an altruistic thing that we're talking about with music. It's not just hearts and minds, and, and that is important. We know the power of art and music to impact people, to save people's lives, but it's also dollars and cents. It's economic development, it's uh, jobs and creating opportunities for our folks. And so I'm very grateful for uh, the, the Music Commission. But I also want to thank Colin and uh, Miss Candy Watkins, uh, who were really put their shoulder into getting us here this, this uh, afternoon to recognize Mr. Willie Phoenix. Um, they've been two important community voices who are either playing or backstage at all of our Columbus festivals, uh, which we miss, but we'll be back next year. They worked hard on this special request to honor their friend, Willie Phoenix. Willie Phoenix is, un is a unique creative force in our city and has been since well before folks like me were ever on the scene. Even though he's toured everywhere, Columbus is proud to call him our own. It is my hope that this street marker will inspire other young musicians who will walk down High Street. Willie has played so many spots in our cities, from street corners to big venues, and he's already inspired so many uh, musicians to follow their dreams. Um, I, I like to say that, that what we build, what we physically honor, is a physical manifestation of our values. And by putting this marker, by us putting this marker up, Willie Phoenix, it talks about our values as a city. It means that we value diversity. It means that we value soul. It means that we value connection to one another. It means that we value us. We value Columbus. All things that are embodied in Mr. Willie Phoenix, in his art, uh, and in his ability to share his great gift with each one of us. Would you help me recognize Mr. Willie Phoenix with the Willie Phoenix way? Congratulations. Okay, I just want to say thank you, and this is so surreal. So welcome to my surreal party. Uh, um, my buddy Colin, I'm going to get you for this in a song. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I do. I love you. And I just want to say thank you to this great city of ours and uh, city council, the mayor, Tom, Tom Krause, Bruce Garfield, the Columbus Music Commission. You know, I love you people. I do, and just be safe and, you know what, I don't know, rock and roll, right? It's all about rock and roll, right? Okay, I, I do, I love you. Thank you so much, thank you. <laughs> On behalf of myself and the group, hope we pass the audition. Uh, anyways, um, I want to present this guitar. Um, 
uh, the Columbus Music Commission, myself, uh, to the Columbus Public School, to Ms. Dixon. And uh, what a beautiful guitar. Colin, are you sure we shouldn't just... Yeah, look at this. Nice, very nice. But anyways, I want to present this. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. I'm left-handed, so... Okay. I think it's, is it like that? Go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice got, guitar. Beautiful play guitar. Oh, I don't know how to play it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, thank you. So, you want, you want, thank you. <laughs> so I have a few words. Let's see. Will you hold it while I'll, okay. Thank you. So thank you, Willie Phoenix, Columbus City Council and the Columbus Music Commission for this generous gift. On behalf of the district and the Columbus Board of Education, it is an honor to be here and accept the generosity of Mr. Phoenix and the community has shown to our students. This guitar and the hundreds of musical instruments that have been donated to Columbus City Schools this year is one more positive example of how partnerships do make a better life for all of us. These instruments symbolize hope, inspiration, and freedom for our students to dream and to create. That is a priceless gift. Thank you, Mr. Phoenix and the City of Columbus for helping our students succeed in making our global community a better and more harmonious place to learn, work, and live. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Colin Gow and I play in the band Watershed and I'm gonna wrap it up today. I'm here to talk about Willie's influence, influence on the musicians in the community from that side. Um, in 1969, Willie Phoenix put out his first record, Roker's Bakery. A couple weeks ago, Willie Phoenix put out his 35th record, This Ain't 1968. To give you some context for that, in the same time period that Willie Phoenix has released 35 records, the Rolling Stones have released 15. <laughs> Willie has two or three times as many songs unreleased, rumored some of his best material. Maybe one day we'll get to hear that. How is this possible, right? Willie only plays music. He doesn't have hobbies. He doesn't have a side job. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't take vacations. All he does is play music and record music. Seeing Willie for the first time, I was a teenager. I saw him at ComFest. I was outside. There were thousands of people there and they were screaming his name. He was a rock star. I had I'd never seen anything like this and he was from my hometown. This is mind-blowing. I didn't know your hometown could have a resident rock star, but we did. When it came time to choose college, me and my friends in Watershed, Ohio State, don't have to look at any other school because we wanted to come down here, not for academics, we wanted to come down here so we could be in a band and see Willie Phoenix play as much as possible. And man, we did. We were at Bernie's all the time. Every show was amazing, up on tables, the energy, it was life-changing, right? And here's the thing about Willie. Every band on High Street got better because of Willie. If you went to Willie Phoenix show, there were guys from the blues bands, the jam bands, the punk bands, the record store hipsters. We all knew Willie was the best. As my friend Ricky C said, Willie never ran for office, but he's the mayor of High Street. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. And, you know, Willie does a lot of things great, right? He's an incredible guitar player. He's my favorite, personally, my favorite guitar player, singer, songwriter, producer, great guy. But who Willie is, really in his soul he took the highest road an artist can take in my opinion he uses his talents and his efforts and he does it to bring people together willie phoenix has always brought people together he takes an electric guitar and rock and roll he tears down walls he builds bridges and it's if there's not many things cooler than that and there's no one cooler than willie phoenix so let me conclude by saying rock is dead they say mm, not in columbus ohio not on this corner because we've got Willie Phoenix Way. Thanks everyone for coming out. Thanks Willie and thanks to the commission, Chairman, President.